Good morning. O prophets. Sunday for prophets. May 9, 2020. O prophets are praying in America, Philadelphia, 4 p.m. in Sunday afternoon in May 9, 2020. I see shooting a prayer soon. Philadelphia police are having a very busy weekend as they investigate nearly two dozen shootings across the city over the past 48 hours. That includes a scene where gunfire rang out in the city's only section. Five people were shot, two killed during that one case alone. Action News reporter Jacqueline Lee joins us live outside Philadelphia Police Headquarters tonight with response from the city on the deadly violence. Jacqueline. Well, Walter, at least 20 people were shot, three people stabbed this weekend. In what seems to be a daily occurrence, the city is still facing a lot of violence. A string of gunfire erupted in Olney today. Someone shot five people around 4.30 this afternoon. Two males, a 17-year-old and a 23-year-old, were shot multiple times and died at the scene. A 22-year-old man was shot five times and is recovering in the hospital. Two other men, one 21 and the other 22, are in stable condition. Over on the 2200 block of Cecil B. Moore Avenue, someone shot a 34-year-old man multiple times around 4.30 this afternoon. No word yet on his condition. Earlier, around 1.30, police report someone opened fire on three victims sitting inside a car on the 2800 block of North 21st Street. A teenager was shot in the head and died in the hospital. A 19-year-old man was shot eight times in the torso. He's at Temple University Hospital in extremely critical condition. An 18-year-old was shot in the arm. He's expected to be okay. Lastly, around 12.30 a.m. Sunday, a shooting injured a man and woman near 54th Street and Woodland Avenue. Both victims are listed in stable condition at an area hospital. In response to these crimes, Mayor Jim Kenney tells 6ABC, quote, I'm devastated by the unspeakable violence that occurred this weekend across our city. My thoughts are with the victims and their families during this tragic time, and I want all Philadelphians to know that our administration does not take this issue lightly. He added that the city is proposing to invest $18.7 million for anti-violence initiatives next fiscal year. And we reached out to Philadelphia Police Commissioner D Danielle Outlaw for comment on all of this violence. We did not hear back in time for this broadcast. City officials will be hosting a gun violence briefing this Wednesday at 1 o'clock. We're live outside police headquarters. Jacqueline Lee for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter. All right. Thank you, Jacqueline.